Hello. Hey Ruby, how's it going? Um, not that good <laughs> situations because we lose, but yeah. I honestly, right. I couldn't give a shit about the losses. Let's talk about literally anything else. Okay, How right. you've been in North America for what two weeks now, give or take? Yeah, just two weeks. Okay, how you liking it so far? What's your first impression of North America? Are all the memes true? Everything you've heard about us? Like, are we? What's it like? Um, first I realized people is really kind. Um, they just <laughs> they just literally say sorry, like even though it's not like their fault or like that um they just oh sorry oh sorry <laughs> that was first time i get it like and second um food is really expensive <laughs> i mean i heard a rumor that uh usa is like restaurant and the delivery food is expensive but uh <laughs> expensive than i expected so i was surprised and also um what can i say like they have a really huge load like in the in the past how can, how can i say it? um from from our team house to office they have a really lot of road and uh, the oh car, yeah the cars like literally run running so fast and i was pretty scared and they never <laughs> like the amount of the car is like so so a lot <laughs> so that's the impression yeah pretty impressive i will say a lot of that is LA. LA is more expensive than most other spots in the United yeah. States. And mm -hmm. the traffic there, uh, LA traffic is it's a whole animal on its yeah, own. Yeah, I, I, I heard that too. Sometimes like some cars like go right behind, no, no, go, go right next to me really fast. Like, oh, and I, and I, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It can be a Thank little you. bit intimidating. That's for sure. What's, uh, what's your favorite thing that you've done so far? Besides, obviously, I playing know. games, I, I, nothing video game related. I I actually didn't do anything right for now because the the day the first day I arrived in LA was our stage game match day. It was Wednesday, so like, uh, was literally so busy. I followed to the stage with teammates and um, just watch and part participate screams and yeah. Has the team, like, has your team, the staff, everybody else been, like, very welcoming as you came in? Like, what's the, what's the like, the team What's environment fun? been like? Um, team run was, is fine, but, like, I mean, obviously, they, are, they was busy, and they're looking for um, stage. So, it was not like that. Oh, Ruby, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, was was not like that. I mean, I, I can fully understand we are um, facing, we are ready to going stage yeah so like yeah not nothing else just just pro gamer things there's no yeah. uh, there's no time and timing like i can experience or like na things are you gonna like even after the split is done are you gonna stay around for a bit and yeah. just like explore like what's what's your plan gonna be like besides just like the the regular season playoffs if you guys go to worlds obviously worlds etc stuff like that um i mean I kind of want to go Disneyland. I I heard Disneyland in the LA, right? Yeah. So I yeah. I, I actually work for Disney. So that's like really? the yeah. So I can't can't advertise it enough. It's it's really it's something. It's worth oh, going. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I really I really do. I really want to go to Disneyland, and um, I'm not I'm not sure, but like, where's the Grand Canyon? Uh, it's a little bit, it's like a few states over. It's, oh. it's drivable, I think. I'm not, I'm, I'm from the East Coast. I live in New York City. I don't live in LA, so I, I'm not so, familiar with everything oh, over there. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, my goal is like, visit Disneyland. <laughs> and oh, yeah, so it might be. Sorry, they, they go ballistic in the background. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be visit there after season, I guess. But if you um qualify to worlds probably there's no time yep so that, i was gonna say well i mean worlds actually this year uh mm -hmm. is about two months after the lcs season so there's a oh. there's a big gap due to the asia games the asia games are taking oh yeah actually, the, true, true. i'm curious uh 
have you been paying attention to like any of the Asia games, uh, like practice, qualifying, and all that going on? Um, I know how how it works, but like I don't really um, care about Asian games. I, I mean, I will just watch the game, but like not really. That's what I was gonna ask. Is there like when the Olympics come on here in America, like it becomes it's a big thing. Like everybody oh, really? cares about it, whether you play a sport or not. Mm-hmm. It's a it's American pride. Does that is it that level of passion and fandom for the Asia Games in Korea? Um, I think no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure, pretty sure no. I mean, people also uh, people like it, but I don't I don't think like people will uh, really um, participate of the event. They just pretty sure they most of them watching in the in their home i mean okay that's i i wasn't sure uh so tomorrow you guys play against 100 thieves uh full disclosure i'm a big 100 thieves fan uh the person that i do a majority of my content with is a massive tsm fan so we have a rivalry between the two of us going into this game uh what's the plan tomorrow to make my life miserable and Hunter Thieves <laughs> lose, and to make his life amazing as you guys win. Mm. For now, like, I mean, we actually failed the strategy that we ready. Like, I mean, we prepare for yeah. uh, yesterday and today, but um, we, will, we will discuss really seriously about we should decide to keep going like this. Like, want to prove we are we are not um, wrong or have to have to choose like totally different strategy i cannot say here but like yeah um we will do our best for to to beat 100 100 divs but like yeah i have to discuss what which uh, what is the problem we lose like this horribly yesterday yeah. and today yeah we will we will figure out oh. gotcha sorry my camera froze there uh final question that i feel like i have to ask to a certain extent mm-hmm. a lot of people are concerned about like or not concerned but they're talking about insanity starting on the roster you coming in starting a little bit later has there been any pressure that you felt internally when it's come to stepping in in this situation of have you paid attention to social media or like what's been your What's been your experience so far amidst everything? Um, for pressure side, my life. I mean, as as you as as you know, I'm Korean, right? Yeah. Um, I start pro player since I was 18, and right now I'm 24, like six years. In especially in Korea, my life was just competitive. I I have always. If I am main player, I always have sub player. If I am sub player, always have to like beat my main player. So like, it's not pressure at all. Like it was my life. Like how how the way I, I threw through the pro player, but um, also about social media. I mean, I used to watch a lot because people. I actually curious what people think of me, but in. When I was in TH, <laughs> so many people like literally um, say, like, say against me. Especially, I was play with Yankos, like, which is uh, who is famous um, pro player in Europe. Yeah. One of so like um, right now, I mean, people saying, of course, saying like, I'm not that weak, I'm not that strong. Probably it's true, but like, I, I will not gonna get effect after watching the social media things and and for now i'm not gonna de- pay attention good i'm um, doing social media just I, i'm focusing doing match and then i don't have time like every day is so busy like participate uh participate scream solo rank uh doing draft meeting and going stage just just as all good that, that's honestly really good to hear because i know like that the the one downside of being a professional player that we hear a lot is like the negative social media attention, whether it's something that happened in game or just something completely irrelevant. So it's good to know that like you're, you have a very good mentality on the matter. So that's great Um, to hear. 
Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, last thing I got. Anything you want to say to the TSM fans out there that are uh, that are you know they're pa- they're a passionate uh, group yeah, of fans. Yeah. Um, hello, TSM fans. TSM fans. I'm I'm mid lane of TSM Ruby. Um, I, I we all know our last two game is like not enjoyable, but uh, for sure we will guarantee we will figure out the way. And um, but it's not just all, it's not just for the fans. We really have to uh, improve fast because we don't have time next week, next and next week. And we have uh, three more weeks, but like we don't have time to. Um, like how can I say? We don't have time. We don't have time to um, fix this. Like not a lot of time. We have to like fix immediate, immediate, immediately. Yeah. And and have to prove in stage. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the dog crying in the background. She oh, wants I to. <laughs> all right, that's all I got for you, man. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck uh, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.